Hey everybody, so today I wanted to discuss with you how you can enable long file paths in Windows. So Windows typically only allows for 260 characters in the file path. However, if you have NTFS as your partition on your Windows computer, you can actually enable long file paths, which would let you go up to 32,000 characters, which I think is probably going to be enough for most people. <laughs> so I wanted to show you all how you could do that. And I wanted to show it on a Windows 10 Professional computer. But do you know that this will work on Windows 10 Professional, Windows 11 Professional, and then I also have Windows 10 Home and Windows 11 Home it'll work on, but only for the registry editor. If you want to use the group policy editor, which is the second way I'm going to show you, you would have to have the Windows 10 Professional or Windows 11 Professional. But I wanted to show you both of those ways so that whichever computer you have, you can make those changes and enable those long file paths so you can have as many nested folders as you like. And if you had a zip file that you needed to extract and it kept giving you an error message, that you couldn't extract it because the file path was too long. Well, this is going to fix that for you. So let's go over to the computer now, and I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that and get it working on your Windows computer. Okay, so the first way I wanted to show you is how we're going to do it with Registry Editor. And this is going to work whether you have Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Professional. So if you go down here to the Start button and click on it, and then you type in reg edit or registry editor, whichever you prefer. And then you tell it to run as administrator. If you get a prompt, is it okay for registry editor to make changes to your device? Go ahead and click yes. Now, once this pulls up, we want to go to the H key local machine. And then we want to go to system. And we want to go to the current control set. And we want to go to control. And then lastly, we want to click on file system right here. Now over here, you'll notice that there is a D word that is called long paths enabled. If you double click on it and change the value from a zero to a one and you click OK, that's all you have to do. Now, I would recommend you go ahead and restart the computer as well, just for that to take effect. But that's going to allow you to have the long file paths. So you can go up to 32,000 characters and you won't have any problems with that. If you, if you go that far, I think that should be plenty. <laughs> but anyway, um, now that's how you can do it the first way. And it'll work with Windows 10 Professional and Windows 10 Home. And again, Windows 11 Professional and Windows 11 Home. However, if you don't want to go through that and you want to do it on the Group Policy Editor, I'm going to show you that way as well. I'm just going to change this back to a zero and click OK. And then I'm going to close the Registry Editor. Now I'm going to click on Start and I'm going to type in GP Edit. And it's going to say edit group policy. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And then here what we want to do is we want to go to the computer configuration. And then we want to go to administrative templates. And we want to go to system. And then under system we want to click on file system. And if you'll notice over here on the right there is an enable Win32 long paths. If I double click on it, I'm going to go ahead and enable it. And that will allow for you to have more than 260 characters in the file path name. And so that should fix it for, I would think, anybody having 32,000 characters for the limit for your file path. Now that's a really long file path. But that's how you would do it the second way with Group Policy Editor. And you just click Enabled, and then you click Apply, click OK, and then you can just restart the computer. 
And after you've restarted the computer and it comes back up, you should be able to creep as many nested folders as you would like. So I hope that was helpful on how you can enable long file paths in Windows on your computer. If you do have any questions about this or you need me to go into more depth about it, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to get back to you about it. And if there's a video, topic, or maybe an article that you would like for me to discuss with you all, please let me know that down below in the comments as well and I'll be more than happy to create that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I enable long file paths in Windows and I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.